This assessment asks us to predict the product of the organocuprate coupling reaction shown on screen. Now we're going to start this reaction with an alkyl iodide reacting with lithium. This is going to allow us to synthesize the organolithium reagent that we need for making the cuprate. And so that organolithium reagent is shown here. Now this organolithium reagent, we're going to react with copper cyanide to make the diorganocuprate. Uh, the cyanide is a non-transferable ligand, which allows us to only use one equivalent of our alkyl iodide to make the diorganocuprate. And so when we do this reaction, we're going to end up with this group attached to copper, and the cyano group will remain attached. Now, when we have two groups attached to copper, copper is going to have a negative charge, and that lithium cation is going to hang out by that negatively charged copper. That's what makes this a lithium diorganocuprate. Now, as I said earlier, the cyano group won't transfer, only this alkyl group will. We're going to make a new bond between this carbon here and the carbon bearing the bromide shown here. My dots and a little bit the wrong place, but you get the idea. We're going to make a bond between those two carbons. And so we can go ahead and draw what that product will be. So we end up with that here, this bond to our starred carbon. We're going to come down to the starred carbon of our ring where the bromide was attached. And now we can draw our five-membered ring with the oxygen here and our two alkenes here. Let's take just a second to make sure that we've got it right. So six member ring up to a CH2, six member ring up to a CH2. And when oxygen, carbon, carbon, that's where the bromine was. Oxygen, pointing is hard. Oxygen, carbon, carbon, and that's where our bromide was. So we can be confident that this is the product of the coupling reaction on screen.